Hello and good morning from Lahore. As we are discussing the medical injuries, and this is the lecture number third on contusion. And from today, I will be starting discussing the medical legal aspects on contusion. That is the determining the age of the bruise, anti-mortem and post-mortem nature of the bruise, manner of infliction, and any trace evidence which is detected on the bruise, which helps in identification of the location and other medical legal aspects. Then we will differentiate from defense wounds, defense wounds which can be confused with the uh, med other medical legal issues. Then I will be discussing the artificial bruise, then the kind of weapon, because every weapon will give an imprint and we can determine the kind of weapon. Then the pathophysiological effects, that is the complications of bruise. So today's lecture, I will be starting with the uh, timing of the bruise, that is the how we can time, since the time of infliction, how we can determine the time interval which has been elapsed. So that is either from the naked eye appearance or the microscopic appearance. So I will be discussing timing of injuries, timing of bruise today. So take care, we are uh, heading towards the lecture. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Khokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. We are discussing the mechanical injuries and this is the lecture number nine on mechanical injuries and third lecture on contusion. As I have told earlier that we are starting the medical legal aspects of the contusion today and the medical legal aspects, the most important is the age or the timing of the bruise. In, initially, we look with the naked eye. What is the naked eye appearance of the bruise? That is from the color changes which the bruise is eliciting. The color changes start from periphery and it progresses towards the center. And there is degradation or breakdown of the hemoglobin by the tissue enzymes and the histiocytes. And these pigments, they show the color changes. And these color changes are from red, which is initially by the hemoglobin, then it turns brown by hemocidine formation, which in turn changes to green in color because of hematoidin, and then to yellow, which is because of bilirubin. So these are the color changes which the hemoglobin, because of the disintegration, is going on. Then the changes in the color of the bruise with time, that is fresh, it appears red. And then after 24 to 48 hours, it starts becoming reddish blue. And in two to four days, it becomes purple or bluish black in color. Then in five to seven days, it turns green or greenish brown. And then in seven to 10 days, it is yellow. And after that, it fades away. This is the picture of a bruise showing the various color changes. You can see the from periphery towards the center. This is another picture showing the color changes. The contusion fades off and disappears in about 15 days when the pigments, they are removed by the phagocytes. And the sequence of color changes, it varies from person to person and from wound to wound also. So this is an approximate estimation and not a confirmatory time frame. Now, with microscopic examination, these changes also depend upon the detection of the pigments. And the hemocytrine, when the bruise is not less than three days old, it is brownish 
or dark brown in color. Then greenish color pigment uh, because of hematoidin, then bruise is less than five days. And bilirubin is seven to 10 days, which is yellow colored pigment. So summary of this lecture is that we have started discussion on the medical legal aspect of the contusion and the medical legal aspect is the most important, the timing, the age of the bruise, then differential diagnosis, anti-mortem, post-mortem nature, uh, defense injuries, then artificial bruises, and all these aspects I will be discussing in the next coming lecture. And today we have learned about the timing of the bruise, naked eye appearance, depending upon the color changes which are seen in the bilirubin, uh, hemoglobin, because of conversion from hemoglobin till the bilirubin. And then microscopic appearance. This is also, which is also the detection of the pigments under the microscope. So that's all about the lecture of today. Thank you very much. Take care, Allah. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name, Dr. Javed. Thank you very much.